Well, you'll have to forgive Wade Phillips and his players if they seemed in a hurry to try and get out of Dodge Monday. After all, what's left to say following a season that began with Super Bowl dreams and ended with the NFL's worst overall record? Truth is, not much. Here's Sarah Eckert with more from the Texans' locker room cleanout. Let's wrap up the season. Please. <laughs> That was definitely the unanimous feeling among players as they cleaned out their lockers and were left searching for answers after a season gone terribly wrong. Obviously we had a disappointing season so I'm frustrated about that. It's pretty much my main sentiment at this point. Oh man, that's beyond ticked off, you know, but you know, now, you know, the best thing about it, you know, we can hopefully put it past us and, you know, learn from it and hopefully we're not in the same situation again last year. I mean, next year, you know, so hopefully everyone on the team learn from it and don't want the same feeling that we had in our mouth, you know, yesterday. It was tough, especially, you know, coming off a rookie year where we went, you know, what, 14-4 and four last year and, uh, you know, you're at the highest of highs and you go down to the lowest of lows, it's, it's really tough, but, uh, you know, as a young player, you're starting to learn the nature of this league and, um, you know, performance is everything. If you're not making plays, you're not winning games, so uh, just got to make sure that, you know, we correct it for next year. Even though players think they have the pieces to turn things around next season, there were mixed emotions regarding all the uncertainties facing the Texans in the offseason, especially not knowing who the next head coach will be. Relief that's kind of kind of over and you can kind of move on and get a fresh start, but then on the other hand, that fresh start means there's a lot of changes. Um, it's something that my, me personally have never been through before in my career, and a lot, a lot of these guys on the team haven't been through. So we're going to have to take it step by step and day by day and uh, go from there. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to a, a fresh start. I think it's actually a little bit of excitement, uh, you know, because it's been a rough year. No one expected it to go this way. Um, but now that it's over, we have the opportunity to get ready for the next year, you know, because that's all we can do. You know, so far, not knowing who our coach is or anything about, you know, what's going to be happening next year, it's a little, it's a little crazy. But um, you know, that's the league, and I uh, just got to be professional about it. And no matter who comes in, you got to work hard and, uh, you know, fight to keep your job. Phillip said the Texans are keeping the coaching search a secret, and when asked if he even still wanted to be a head coach, he said in the right situation. Like here, it's his home, and the new house he's building in the area is close to being finished. So certainly a very unsettling time for Phillips as he waits to see what his future with the Texans will be. At Reliant Stadium, Sarah Eckert, CSN.